Um, at the Global Fund for Women, we are very lucky to be able to provide seed capital and strengthening capital to social entrepreneurs um, who are taking the kinds of risks that um, are truly quite extraordinary in being able to try and make change within their own societies. In many ways, we are a classic Silicon Valley startup story. The Global Fund for Women was started in 1987 um, in a kitchen in Palo Alto. Three women who uh, decided that there was simply not sufficient resources accessible to the organizations that were taking some of the most innovative and creative steps for social change in much of the developing world, um, namely women's organizations. Anne Firth Murray had been a program officer at the Hewlett Foundation. She's, she quit her job, um, and together with Francis Kissling and Laura Lederer, um, had the chutzpah, a good word today on Passover, um, to think that they could actually get money directly into the hands of social entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, in countries all around the world, and make that capital um, um, immediately available to them with a minimum of bureaucratic intervention. Most large foundations that worked internationally, private philanthropy that worked internationally, um, felt that you had to kind of invest in the large institutions. Even traditional development thinking was all about large institutions. The World Bank was busy building dams. Um, people were thinking big scale about universities. Um, nobody was thinking about what $3,000 or $4,000 could do um, in a place where there was insufficient health care or where women had no access to microcredit or to capital to be able to start businesses. And I think that was what really distinguished the Global Fund for Women when it, when it, first, um, uh, when it first began.